Those high winds have caused plenty of drifting in and around the FM area. Valley News Team's Bailey Hurley is out in the metro right now checking on those conditions. What's it like out there, Bailey? Jordan, it's very cold, it's very windy, but I've been on a hunt all morning trying to find the tallest snow drift that I can find. Now, I don't think this is the tallest one I'll find, but it's pretty close. Now, I'm just off 52nd Avenue, just southwest in a housing development, just southwest of the Walmart here. And now I stand at about 5'2", 5'3", on a good day. And, but today I have some winter heeled boots on, and I think if I took them off, this snow drift would have me beat for some height. Now I've been talking with neighbors in this development right here behind me all morning and they say that when they woke up this morning they couldn't see out their front doors. Some of them couldn't even see out their garage doors once the door was opened. Now they say this is a very drifty neighborhood. There's not a lot of trees. There's not a lot of buildings to stop that wind and snow from piling up. One man told me that it took him about 45 minutes just to snow blow out his driveway and his front walkway. Now I'm on the hunt. I told you I'll keep you updated with my journey with all the tall drifts I find. I don't think I'm going to uh, jump in this one right now, but maybe I'll jump in some later. Reporting live in South Fargo, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Probably some real crunchy snow in that drift. All right, all of 5-3 Bailey Hurley reporting live. Thank you very much.